And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various victims of our people. It was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at the government it. college, yeah, Ujeli. And go, on, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the waiting camp. That other camp, it's not going to come. You don't come for shit. I'm reaching out to you because we know you are here and we have concern for you like your mother here has concern for you. So we are trying to reach out because we know that you are important in society. You mean a lot to us. You are very important in development. And society cannot work without you, and that is why we are here. And so we are going to support you the way we can. We are going to give you gifts, we are going to plant trees for you. And we are going to reach out the way we can in our own little way. To tell you that we are with you, like your mother has always been with you. And this is the proprietress of this orphanage. Um, good day. Good day. Um, the African Center for Community and Development, in collaboration with the Limbe Botanic Garden, is about to carry out a tree planting session um, at your orphanage and also to give um, some gifts to these children here. What are your reactions to it? Oh, I'm so happy about it. I'm happy. I'm overwhelmed with joy. I mean, this is. I was thinking of planting some fruit trees in my in their area but you have brought you would have brought something like planting of trees uh, fruit trees I'm so happy you have brought in botanic garden that will come and plant uh, fruit trees I'm happy about it what does it take to be um, a mother of an orphanage as you are it it takes to have that the the first of all you must have the fear of God in you and the love you must love children. You must love, you must not discriminate. You must not be a woman who discriminates. You must not be a man who discriminates. To love any child you see, you have, you get, it's your child. You must have that mind of loving them. That is what it takes. But it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of time. It takes a... Yes, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of money and... So how do you manage and um, it is what do you normally money. get? Or what do you want to get as support for your endeavor? What I really want to have uh, like support, most of the time I have some support from people. They bring uh, items, food items, they bring other items for, for the children. Like now we are, we want to undergo our construction, and um, I need, uh, I need uh, support. Support. Okay, you're moving into a new site. I want to move. I'm out, I want to relocate because this place is tight now for the children. The place is tight, and it's to me it's not comfortable because we are in a semi-permanent building, not in a. It is in a good structure for the children. You used to be a police woman. How do you manage helping people um, in, a, in a society where police are believed to be corrupt? No, uh, with police, our uh, what uh, as a police uh, uh, officer, you you are supposed to. We are supposed to go closer to the population to bring peace. To teach like these children, I need to teach them to be law abiding. I need to teach them to grow, to grow in, in the society with discipline. So I need to teach them what I have been taught. As a police officer, we are we are supposed to be closer to the to the population and to direct them. What are your names? My name is uh, Galen Alova Josephine. Mama Galen Alova Josephine. Of course, you are a mother of how many how many children are in this orphanage for now? We have 23. And I also know you have a pilot um, project on snails. Um, yes. What is that all about? Uh, the snail farming uh, is uh, Lugmer that brought this this uh, snail farming and uh, this uh, this project. They are sponsoring this project 
it is not a project that they will sponsor. We have to give them back the money. All it's right. a project that they are using their money that in a long after 18 months will give them give back the money. So they are loaning you they are loaning us the snails money. and cages. They are loaning the they 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 they, 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 they belt it, they put all the structures, they bought the snails and we are running it to start selling and giving back the money is I mean is something that I think it's a good project. You can do something to bring about the change. impression about projects like this? The projects like this, they are good because they, uh, I mean, it is, I think it is one of the poverty elevation type of programs we need to do in Cameroon. We are elevating poverty. These children, maybe they were where they could not even have breakfast, but they are brought into a society where they know they can have breakfast. They were in a, they were in the, that tight corner where they could not meet with people, laugh with people, speak even good English, even go to school. But they have come to a place where they they, they have the opportunity of even going to school, of even interacting with other people in the society. You are the manager of Save the Children Alliance Orphanage and the African Center for Community and Development is um, trying to provide some gifts and to plant trees in this orphanage. What is your reaction to that? Yes, uh, I want to thank you so much, uh, very kindly indeed. Um, it is a welcome venture and uh, by this we are so excited and uh, overwhelmed by this uh, wonderful uh, approach to save the children of my orphanage. Okay, then so what are the problems you face here? Absolutely, the, the, the most striking problem is that uh, right now we are choked up in our accommodation, firstly. And of course you cannot overrule something like uh, food. Food is a paramount thing for any human being. And of course uh, if there is food and our accommodation, the children in the orphanage or in the, in the home will be so much happy and they feel at home and they feel so much at home that they will not remember anything that has brought them into this orphanage. We shall also be very interested in this point at more dancing. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Some lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.